Hi, today I'm going to talk about the top 5 misconceptions in math. These are things that we naturally assume and intuitively think that they are true and a lot of times they are actually not true. So watch this video until the end to find out what some of these misconceptions are. Number one is about indices of powers. Now if you have a number a to the power n, that's the same as a multiplied by itself n number of times. So a to the power n means a times a times a n times. For example, 2 to the power 3 means 2 multiplied by itself 3 times and not this. So if you have 2 to the power 3, this is not the same as 2 times 3. This is wrong. This is the correct thing here. Let's move on to the second one. Number two is about the laws of indices, and this is really something that is very common to junior mathematicians. So if you have a number a to the power m times a to the power n, we know this is a to the power m plus n. You can try that out with some numbers and see how it works out. The bases must be the same. If you have a number a to the power m divided by the same number, the same base to the power n, this can be simplified as a to the power m minus n, so this is correct. And now here comes the misconception. I don't know why that is, perhaps because of the multiplication and addition here. So some students will tend to think that a to the power m plus a to the power n is the same as a to the power m times n. Also, there is this common one here, a to the power m minus a to the power n equals a to the power m divided by n. Now, this is not true, and so these laws of indices down here do not exist. Let's move on to number three. So, number three is closely related to the first two, the laws of indices. This is about logarithms. So, logarithms are the opposite of indices. Now, these are two known facts in logarithms that if I have a logarithm of a number m to some base, I'm going to assume these logarithms are to the same base, plus another logarithm of a number n to some base, the bases should be the same, then this is equivalent to the log of m times n. The same works for subtraction, only that now we have division of the two numbers. Now, because of this, sometimes we tend to think that if I have a multiplication of two logarithms, I'll have this, the addition of the numbers, but that's totally not true, and this does not exist. In fact, there is no law of logarithms that can simplify up this, at least. Okay? I'm assuming, of course, this is very independent from this. The same here, if I have log of m divided by log of n, this is not the same as log of m minus n. Still, we cannot simplify this using you know, something like this. There is no simple law that can simplify this up, except, uh, you know, by some other way of mathematical manipulation. All right, let's move on to number four uh, of the five misconceptions that I want to cover in this video. Number four is about inverse trigonometric functions. Now, I'll begin with this. It's a known fact that a to the power negative one is essentially one over a. It's the inverse of a. Now, when it comes to trigonometric functions, I'm using sine in this video, but this applies for all trigonometric functions. If I have sine to the power negative 1 of theta, this is not the same as 1 over sine theta. I actually did another video where I covered this. Now, this negative 1 here, it turns out that it's not the same meaning with this negative 1 here. This is a notation. For the inverse trig functions, the arc sine of theta. Actually, I think one of the reasons why we confuse this is when we actually call it sine inverse. I believe this should be correctly called the arc sine or sine arc, depending on what your teacher likes to call it, but not an inverse. Or if we use the word inverse, then it should be made clear that we mean an inverse function, not an inverse in terms of a reciprocal. All right, let's move on to number five. So number five is about powers of brackets. What happens if you have a bracket to power a certain uh, exponent index, okay? So a plus b to the power n, remember what we began with in number one, this means a plus b multiplied by itself n times, as you can see here. So for example, a plus b to the power two means a plus b multiplied by itself two times, a plus b times a plus b. This is the first time, second time, all right? 
So it's not the same as a plus b squared equals a squared plus b squared. This is absolutely wrong and you can't just expand powers like that. You have to multiply out uh, the bracket by itself this number of times. Alright, thanks for watching this video about the top 5 misconceptions in math. I'll make a video about more of these misconceptions. If you find this video helpful, subscribe to the channel for more. Leave for me a comment, let me know what you thought about these misconceptions. You can also tell me about some of those that you know about. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.